In Islamabad's Christian slum, the Sunday Mass is being celebrated with an unusual focus. Three hours of chants and prayers to save Azia Bibi, a 42-year-old Christian woman accused of blasphemy and sentenced to death by Pakistan's justice system. For the priest of this community of 5,000 living in cramped quarters, the case is yet another example of the discrimination faced by Christians all over the country. Here we are in Pakistan, and we pray for her relentlessly, for God to rescue her. But you know that whether we commit blasphemy or not, we Christians are always punished. Azia Bibi is facing death by hanging if Lahore's High Court does not overturn her conviction. The international community keeps pushing for her release, and in Islamabad, the Vatican's representative has met urgently with Pakistan's Minister for Minorities to find a favorable outcome to Azia Bibi's predicament. For Shabazz Bhatti, the only Christian minister in Pakistan's government, the blasphemy law is a backward piece of legislation. This is the law which is giving I even uh, not good name to my country. This is the law which is uh, hampering the efforts of interfaith harmony and peace building among different community. And we need to review this law so innocent people should not remain the target of blasphemy law. Bati does not have the power to secure the release of Azia Bibi, who's already spent the past year and a half in jail. Her family, who are meeting here with the minister, are eager to move the process forward. Before, Asya was able to withstand prison conditions, but now that she knows she's going to be executed, her health has declined drastically. She's very weak. She doesn't look very well and hasn't eaten in three days. She barely speaks anymore. My mother's not doing well. When I saw her yesterday, she was crying. I started crying too, but she told me I shouldn't worry because she would be coming home soon. This Christian family receives regular death threats from local Muslims. Azia Bibi's husband and children now live in a secret location under the protection of the Ministry for Minorities. In Pakistan's Islamic Republic, blasphemy is a crime. And even inside the Christian colony, not all fellow Christians take Azia Bibi's side. I don't agree with what Azia Bibi did because we live in a Muslim country and if she has something to say against that religion, she should keep it to herself and keep quiet. Today, only Pakistan's courts can decide to set Azia Bibi free. President Zardari himself does not have the power to pardon her.